Let's discuss payroll, more specifically calculating the gross and net pay for an hourly employee. Let's go to our example here. Uh, we have an employee, his name is Xavier Chase, earns 36 an hour and qualifies for time and a half for any hours worked over 40 hours per week. Feel free to screen capture or take a picture of this problem as we will use it for our calculations. There is a lot of information there, uh, so take note of that. Overall, we will find the employee's gross pay, net pay, and we're going to assume that Xavier is paid on a weekly basis. All right, so knowing that, let's get into the formulas required to be able to figure those things out. The first formula we have to calculate is regular pay. So the regular pay is what Xavier is paid normally on a weekly basis. Uh, what you have to do is take the hours he worked during the week, because again, this problem is very specific on how often he gets paid. So for one week, he can work up to 40 hours in terms of regular pay. You're gonna multiply that by his hourly rate. All right, so the next formula we have to calculate is overtime pay. Because in this example, he did work over 40 hours in one week, so he is eligible for overtime pay. For overtime pay, you simply take his hours worked over 40 hours in that specific week. Then, just like the regular pay, you're going to multiply that by his hourly rate. But he's going to earn a little extra, so what you're going to do is multiply by time and a half, or 1.5. And that will give you your overtime pay. To calculate the gross pay, you're just going to add the regular pay plus the overtime pay. The last thing the problem requires is the net pay. The net pay is his gross pay minus all your payroll deductions. All right, now that we have those formulas, we can calculate the gross pay and the net pay. Like previously mentioned, let's start out with calculating the regular pay. The regular pay for Xavier well, he worked over 40 hours, but up to 40 hours is considered regular pay. Then you'll multiply by his hourly rate, which in this case is 36 an hour. Multiply those two, you'll get $1,440. Now we're going to calculate the overtime pay. The overtime pay, Xavier worked uh, an additional 14 hours over the 40 hours. You're going to multiply that again by his hourly rate, which is 36, times the 1.5. You should get $756. Now, when you add the regular pay plus the overtime pay together, that will equate to the gross pay, which in this case is $2,196. And there you have it. Now let's rewrite our gross pay. We want to keep track of what we're going to be deducting from the gross pay, which again in this case is $2,196. What I'm about to write down looks like a pay stub, or what you see on a pay stub. On the pay stub, you have gross pay at the very top, you have deductions in the middle, and then finally you'll have your net pay at the very uh, bottom. The first deduction we have is Social Security tax. In this example, it's 6%. So multiply that 6% by Xavier's gross pay, and you'll get $131.76. The next deduction is Medicare tax. In this example, it is 1.5%. So you want to multiply that by the gross, and then you should get $32.94. An important note here, our first two deductions, Social Security tax and Medicare tax, is required by a certain law. And that specific law is called the Federal Insurance Contributions Act. It's commonly referred to as FICA.
Our next deduction is the federal income tax. Now I know this problem is a very basic problem. In a payroll accounting class, uh, you will learn how to calculate the federal income tax. But in this case, it's just a given number of $520. And the same with state income tax. Here it's a deduction of $80. Lastly, he has one more deduction for medical coverage. For medical coverage, his deduction is $70. Finally, we will get down to net pay. And again, net pay is your gross pay, which is $2,196, minus all of your deductions, Social Security, Medicare, federal income tax, state income tax, and medical. You'll get a net pay of $1,361.30.